it actually works. This thing started off completely split and we have just drilled a proper hole with it. Yeah, ah. Oh wow, that was not even. Yeah, we're gonna try to use this thing. Ah, cool. I think I figured it out. All right guys, random review of the day is the El Cheapo Chinese finest drill grinding attachment. This is one of those uh, almost universal, dare I say, cheap tools. You can buy these things on Amazon. I bet you can even get them places like Harbor Freight. And this is uh, ridiculously cheap. And it was so cheap, I wondered if these things will actually work because I haven't had the best luck with drill sharpening tools. And uh, so I impulse bought this one like a year ago. You can see all covered with dust and everything. Uh, it says it'll sharpen drill bits to factory accuracy. And it includes instructions, which is good because I have no idea how to use this thing. But whatever the case, we're gonna open this up. Yeah, ah, we got parts falling off. All right, how the heck does this thing actually work? And is it actually worth a dude's $24 or however much it costs? So I got a whole thing of dull drill bits. Some of these are ones my drill doctor messed up. Others are like broken clean off. So hopefully we can make some of these things usable. Tool itself, it's the finest grade Chinese M that money can buy. You can see it's like, uh, it just has that signature Chinese cast material appearance. Basically the way this works, there's this little tooth that sticks out here and keeps the, the drill bit twisting the right way. And then basically we just turn this side to side with the machine running. And then I figured out, <coughs> excuse me, this is actually to feed this drill bit further in like such as we're uh, grinding and then this up here basically just holds it tight. So it, really it looks like a quite good system, but let's see how it actually does or doesn't work. This is gonna take a few tries to get right. I think it will actually work though. Well, it certainly does look a lot more drill bit like. All right, so the really redneck, but surprisingly effective way to tell when you have a drill bit evenly sharp is you take some nuts like these, you hold on to them really tight, and brace yourself for the comments that this is gonna cause in the comments section. Shove your drill bit in there, and when it matches up evenly, you know that things are evenly sharp. And see, we have to take just a tiny bit more material off of what is currently the left side, now the right side. So I will say right now, if I was gonna buy one of these, I would not do that without planning to put a lot of Loctite on these and these thumb screws. They just don't really have the pressure to hold this tight when you're using it. So I would replace these with, uh, you know, a couple dollars worth of bolts, you know, hex head bolts from the hardware store and keep a little wrench handy. But I will say it's actually, it's really not that bad. So as you can see, it actually appears to have worked. This is what looks to me, just from eyeball here, maybe it'll be uh, you know, more apparent if it's off one way on camera. It actually looks even. These are nice straight flat grinds and we have like razor straight sharp looking uh, cutting edges. But the real test is how does this actually perform? It actually works. This thing started off completely split and we have just drilled a proper hole with it. That's the good news. The bad news is it took all day because I'm still kind of an amateur at using this. However, the point is it actually does work and it works surprisingly well. Now keep in mind that is the first time I've ever used not only that tool but anything even remotely like it. And, um, and still we got a functional hole. Took a couple tries to get everything even enough to be somewhat functional. But if somebody was going to play with this and devote a little bit of time, maybe an afternoon or whatever, to getting that thing set up and getting a feel for using it, it's actually a perfectly functional tool. Now that's the good news. There is some bad news, however. Uh, like many, especially cheap Chinese tools, it does need a couple little things to truly be proper. 
Uh, mainly, like I said, these little thumb screws just don't have any real holding power and they vibrate loose when they're on a really shaky machine like that or a really shaky grinding wheel pedestal. And uh, so that is unfortunately a downside. What I would do, especially this one here, this one came loose two or three times, I would replace this with a regular bolt. And uh, these are probably going to be metric threads, so you know, you might have to go to your hardware store and spend the whole like dollar on that little bolt or whatever. But the point is, it's functional, it's cheap, and it actually does work. I mean, for 25 bucks, this is a lot more than I was expecting. And uh, oh yeah, the other thing, you can even choose the angle of your uh, pointer, whatever this is. Uh, I never really bothered. I just kind of set it in the middle and hope for the best. Maybe that's why that hole took all day to drill. But whatever the case, like I said, it friggin' works. 24 or $30 or however much they are now. And you know, you think for that, it's a really cheap, terrible tool, but actually it's a quite solid tool. You can see even the castings are pretty clean. It pivots nice and smooth. It's adjustable for where you can tighten down these screws. It's really not bad. So if you want a cheap drill bit sharpener and you can be careful enough to not lose a finger like I thought I was going to a couple times and you're willing to replace a couple bolts and devote a small amount of time to figuring out how to use it properly, you get your few dollars worth. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. If you buy this, don't feed your grinder a, a finger and ensue me. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.